Hi everyone, this video is for medical students, junior doctors and any other healthcare professionals who take blood samples. By the end of it, you will know the safest order to fill up blood bottles. This order is widely accepted across UK hospitals. The first bottle to fill is the blue bottle. This is commonly used to perform a coagulation screen or test D dimer. It contains a reversible anticoagulant, sodium citrate. This prevents the blood clotting before it goes to the lab, where the lab can then remove the anticoagulant and test the blood's ability to clot. We should gently invert the blue bottle three to four times to properly mix the blood with the sodium citrate. A top tip for the blue bottle is to always fill it to the line indicated. This is because the ratio of anticoagulant to blood is important and can interfere with test results if over or underfilled. This is why it's important to fill the blue bottle first so you can be sure to fill it with enough blood to reach the line. Next is the yellow bottle. This is used to send blood for a wide range of tests. It's a serum separating tube containing silica particles and a serum separating gel. The contents of the tube will cause the blood cells to clump together, allowing the serum to be separated by centrifuge in the lab. So if you see the blood clotting in this tube, don't worry, that's supposed to happen. The yellow bottle should be inverted around five times to properly mix the blood. You can get a surprising amount of information from not much serum in the lab. So if you can only partially fill a yellow bottle, make sure you still send it. The purple bottle is commonly used for the full blood count, but is also useful for other tests, for example, HbA1c and ESR. This bottle contains EDTA, which acts as an anticoagulant to stop the blood clotting. It's important to fill EDTA bottles after the yellow bottle, as contamination of a UNE's test with EDTA can create the appearance of a high potassium result. The purple bottle should be inverted eight times for proper mixing with EDTA. The pink bottle has the same contents as the purple bottle, but is used specifically for the group and save and cross-match blood tests. These are both important for blood transfusions. The pink bottle should be inverted eight times. These tests need to be done in the pink bottle, as they should always be handwritten to avoid any potentially dangerous errors in giving patients incorrectly matched blood. The grey bottle is less commonly used, as most information you can get from these can be obtained faster using a venous or arterial blood gas, for example, glucose and lactate. These bottles contain potassium oxalate, which acts as an anticoagulant and sodium fluoride, which prevents glucose breakdown. This should be inverted eight times. So to summarize the order of draw, we start with the blue bottle to ensure it's filled to the line, then the yellow bottle, so our U and E's test isn't contaminated with EDTA, causing a falsely high potassium. This is followed by the purple bottle, then the pink bottle, which must be hand labeled with the patient's details. And the gray bottle can be filled last, However, a small caveat to this order would be if a patient's difficult to bleed and there is a specific test you need more than others, so you might fill the bottle for that test first. Obviously, here you need to use your clinical judgement. Thanks for watching, and feel free to check out my videos on interpreting blood tests like the full blood count, user knees, and others. See you next time. Mm -hmm.